Welcome, welcome, everyone. How is everyone doing? Jennifer, Kurtner, Mariella, Stephanus, Feb, welcome, welcome, Natalia. Hello. What a wonderful day. We've actually, the sun is out in New York. Can you believe it? We were having a bit of a cold patch, but uh, where are you, Natalia? Where are you right now? Are we sun? What's that? <laughs> it's behind the clouds here in the UK. Yes, yeah. but it's it's well, it's UK. What do you expect? Every time we visit UK, we bring a little bit of sun over. Uh, it's what I, it's what I like to think. But I'm still yeah. freezing, actually. I'm going to put on a little. I was trying to be cool and wear a t-shirt type of thing, but my <laughs> goodness, where are you guys dialing in from? Oh, that's that's actually, the, oh my goodness, you're I'm putting on my homey homey look now. It's like I'm getting changed in front of everyone. It's hilarious. All right, that's a bit better. A bit of a homey look. How is everyone doing? Welcome, welcome. Miami, my goodness. Mariella. Miami must be a little bit warmer than, than we are right now. So <laughs> without Miami further ado, Beach. Miami Beach, my goodness. Where else are you guys from? Let's see. Uh, Kurtner, Jennifer, tell us, tell us where you're from. Uh, Stephanus, which part of the world are you again? Which part of the UK? Have you moved? Uh, you moved recently. Leeds in the north of England. North of England. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. close to Peak District, right? Yes. Oh, there you go. Amazing. Fantastic. All right, well, let's get started. Uh, it's already a couple of minutes over. Leeds, Malaysia, Kurtner. Welcome from Malaysia. Wow. And uh, that is... Southeast Asia, where I originally was born, actually. I was actually born in a little town called Ipo. Who's actually been to Ipo? You've been to Ipo, Kurtner? Ipo, my dad's from KL, moved down to Australia when I was a baby, uh, two months old, apparently. In the last 15 years, been in New York. It's been a bit of a whirlwind trip <laughs> since I was born, but uh, I don't know where. You, you never know where you end up, right? I mean, Natalia, you're not from the UK, are you? No, I was born in Sweden. Then Sweden. I was taken to Argentina when I was two months. Uh, and uh, I have most of my family in the UK. Uh, so when people ask me, where are you from? I really don't know what to yeah, answer. Yeah, I know. I don't know how to answer that either. Yeah. Stephanus, where are you originally from? Uh, originally, I'm from Greece. Yeah. Greece. <laughs> Some people find it crazy. I, how, why did you move to England? Well, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. makes a little no sense, but anyway, this is my destiny, I guess. Yeah, your destiny, yeah. Your, your microphone is a little bit uh, scratchy. I don't know whether that's from uh, our end or my end or your is your is your uh, podcast mic on, perhaps? Anyway, oh, ah, there we are. We'll get started. All right, and Feb, Feb, where are you from? Feb, Feb is from the... Feb the Fabulous. Feb the Fabulous. From the Philippines. Philippines. <laughs> this is a place I've always wanted to visit, mm -hmm. but never have. So one of these days we'll be, uh, we'll be heading over there, I'm sure. Welcome, welcome. People are joining Monica. Welcome, Amala. Where are you guys dialing in from? There's no such thing as dialing in. Like, what do you call it? Logging in from. Back in the days when I was... Yeah, it was literally... Rome, we've got someone from... Rome, even. Oh my goodness. Oh, like Roma. Roma. I can't speak Italiano, but I speak with my hands. Italiano. That's close as I can get to Italian. So, mm. anyway, look, let's get started. I know we'll be here all day welcoming everyone, but <laughs> let's get started. So, why are we here? I wonder why we're all here. Let's let's open up my little mini uh, Canva presentation if I can get started. Ooh, we love Canva. Don't we love Canva? It's uh, oh, I think I've opened up the wrong Canva. Uh, we can speak Italian with gestures, Monica says. You know, oh, good, good, good. That's where I learnt it from, probably. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So we have a little masterclass for everyone. How exciting! So this is a solid ninety minutes. It might run to you know a hundred minutes, two hours. You know, we 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 love sharing. We love interacting as well. So this is a full on masterclass. We won't be selling you anything at the end of this masterclass. So that's a, that's a little bit of a disclaimer. He's wondering why we're doing this. This is actually probably our fifth one. We're getting really good practice to get amazing content out there. And I tell everyone who, you know, you know, joins any of our programs down the track, we're not going to be promoting, um, the, you're not going to have to pay for anything, put it this way, at the end of this program. But we've got a lot of things to give away, in fact, which is pretty exciting. 
But I always tell my students, just get started, start teaching. You don't even have to, you know, aim to sell anything at the end of your presentations because initially they're going to suck. And when you suck, you're not going to be selling well anyway. So you just might as well just have fun and teach and without any attachment. Fair enough. So we've got here from Ben. Ben might be joining us. Um, he's been uh, a little bit missing in action. He's hopefully he's not under the weather, but uh, he may join us. He's one of it was one of my interns, but now uh, a business partner, uh, and he may present his section on on virality. If not, uh, I'll be uh, covering that a little bit. Stephanus uh, and Natalia's mentioned from Unstoppable Storytellers. So great to have you all here with us. All right, who here is ready to play full out? Please, please type in yes. Please, me. Me, yeah. me. type in something so that we can know that we're not just ch chatting by ourselves. And <laughs> that's happened sometimes. But, um, you know, you, you always got to get started and then eventually tens and then eventually hundreds. And eventually you have thousands of people like we've had in our audience live. So that's really exciting when things like that happen, even tens of thousands. Uh, so what do we mean by playing full out? Right. Who here is probably a coach or a consultant or an expert of some form? All right. Type in. Let's let's see here. Who here is is uh, in some form of that capacity? Let's have a look at our our notes here. Um, anyone here who's a coach or a consultant, an expert? Type yes. All right or no. Um, Natalia, you know, you're gonna start the ball rolling here. I mean. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you obviously are. A, oh, I'm an expert. You are an expert. Well, I'm a coach. I'm a storytelling coach. <laughs> Fantastic. So you're here probably because you want to share your message with the world. You want to share your gifts with the world. And I, I like to talk about being a trans. We have marketing technology, all that good stuff. But we have transformational technology that we want to share with you. Because I think that we're all in the business of helping people, right? at the end of the day is it's you know what is it people over what people over profit right relationships over revenue all right don't you like that all right so keep that in mind these are not just cool catchy phrases you're in the business of serving and helping people if you're a coach or a speaker you really want to be a transformational trainer right it's not just about teaching you know you want to give people an experience as well you know there's a reason why entertainers get paid more than teachers generally right because they really deliver you know an amazing experience and uh, yes people over profit and relationships over revenue I, I love that cool phrase anyway so you know if we're in the business of transformation we need to understand the science of transformation. And did you realize that, you know, you're here for two hours, let's say, with us, and you want to get the most out of today's masterclass. It's live, right? You can tell it's live, right? Yes, type yes if you want to get the most, obviously. So, well, if you only just listen in, you only really absorb 10% of what you're going to, you know, hopefully be learning today. You know, and if you uh, write as well, right? Not just listen and watch. Right, so we're going to put a lot of interaction, interactive animations and so on to keep you stimulated, the left and right brain. Uh, and if you also write things down, you might remember 20 to 30 percent. OK, so we're here to help you really get some nuggets. There's only so much we can teach in two hours. Uh, and then thirdly, if you actually interact like what Natalia is doing a lot and Jennifer, thank you for typing in a few things. Sorry, I interact in a childish way. You know, I like dramatize everything. Yeah, no, 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 no. I meant not just that, not just that, right? But also typing in the chat, yeah? Summarizing, you know, some nuggets, some insights. So when you interact with each other, chit chat as well, uh, and share what you've learned, you, your retention skyrockets. It's 50% plus, right? I so, want to say something. When yeah, you write please. in the chat, make sure that you select uh, panelists and attendees. Otherwise, no one will see what you write. Oh, good one. 
and and uh, that that's a good tip. Sometimes I'm chatting, I'm thinking I'm chatting with everyone, but it's just with Natalia, and she gives me <laughs> weird looks. It's like, what's going on here? All right. So anyway, back to welcome, welcome everyone as you're joining us. We're getting started. Just some simple ground rules. If you want to get the most out of today's masterclass, two hours nonstop, fast paced, fast and furious, take lots of notes because that's going to increase your double your attention, not just listening in, uh, and also share and interact because that's going to increase your retention tripled even potentially. Right. So that's what we mean by playing full out and being a transformational trainer. Take lots and lots of notes. We're going to be. You're going to become friends with. <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna make Absolutely. Because you're going to hear, because you're here to make more and make an impact. Yes or yes? Yes. Yeah? We're here to make more and make an impact if you're a coach. And probably, you know, we're here partly because we're experiencing what we call digital and viral disruption. It's changing the world we live in today. It's crazy. We're going from a third of the workforce, right, to almost 40 to 50 percent over the next few years who are going to be freelancers which means what no job security right there's no 401k there's no retirement fund golden goose at the end of your stint because you inc is what's new right you are going to be your own company a large percentage of us all right and are we really ready for this I don't think our educational system, who believes the educational system really helped us to become you, Inc., uh, build our uh, personal brands, yeah? No? No, I don't believe. All right. I mean, you know, it's 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 not, I mean, I, I you know, typical nerdy, study hard, get good grades, yeah, right, all the usual stuff. Um, but the truth about success in the digital world, in this entrepreneurial game, isn't often discussed in the online world uh, that we've experienced. You know, a lot of people selling shiny objects that make it seem so easy. And I'm going to tell you, everyone here today, that it's absolutely not. I'm going to try to scare you away from being an online entrepreneur, all right? So how's that for something different? Because I came from the whole internet startup world 21 years ago, right? Um, and it was a completely different scene. There wasn't all this easy software to plug and play to make our lives a lot easier. You know, it was like coding from scratch and hiring programmers, genius, de geeky geeks, geeker, geekier than anyone could imagine, right? So. Looking at the top five factors for success, uh, over 250 startup companies, okay? Forget about all the get rich quick stuff, right? Startups are the ultimate get rich quick. You know, people want to join startups, exit in two to five years and become squillionaires and retire on the beach, right? And raise capital and list on the stock exchange. All oh, that one all be acquired by the bigger companies, yada, yada, yada. Forget about it, right? I've been there, done that, ain't easy. I failed quite a few times, did okay sometimes. In the last 15 years, I've been able to live in New York, do 10 plus years of volunteer work, which got me into video and on TV, which we'll get into for a second. A lot of you are here to learn about how to be quote unquote famous and in your niche using the power of video and television. But here are the top five factors. Number one, it's timing, guys. Timing is actually really critical. In no matter what business plan you're developing, it often is timing, right? Now, believe it or not, video is booming, as you can imagine online. But TV still has a place. I'll get into that in a second, right? You might think TV's antiquated, not so important anymore, blah, blah, blah. Everyone's just going, go online, be TikTok famous, be YouTube, forget about television, who needs that? Anyway. Team and execution is the second most important factor for success. And if you're trying to do this alone, um, most likely you're going to fail, right? All the studies have shown you need two or three types of genius in your team. You have to have the really technically brilliant folks and you need to have the visionaries and the sales and marketing geniuses, right? Very rarely do you have an all-in-one Jeff Bezos or... Elon Musk in the company who can kind of do everything. Even the Google brothers, you know, had, you know, Eric Schmidt who came in and blew up their marketing by adding Google Sense on the right hand side, Google Ads. But the point is, team is critical. Build a dream team. 
right? I'm so fortunate and blessed to have an amazing team of partners and in, and colleagues and employees, virtual assistants, you name it. You need a team and you need to execute. We can share all our best stuff, you know, in the next few hours and we're not worried because it's not like you're going to run with it and you're going to forget about us completely. Hopefully we've made an impact. Regardless of whether you do anything uh, with us down the track, hopefully we can inspire you to do something that suits you. Make sense? It's not for everyone what we're doing, but ultimately I think we're here to serve to help you be the best that you can be. I think that is the best thing you can do if you're a trainer or a coach or whatever. And we tell people up front, entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Video isn't for everyone, right? But the key is execution. Once you have a team, you have the information and we're overloaded with information. Type yes if you feel a little bit overwhelmed with information overload. <laughs> yeah, who thinks that you know, you've know you signed up to too many courses? Type in yes if you've signed up into too many courses and hasn't have done nothing. Come on, type in yes or maybe, or maybe that I, I know a friend of a friend who's been like that. All right, type in, come on, play with us here, right? Yep, signed up with the two, and become info junkies. And we're not executing. Maybe, yes, maybe I've been through that as well. Look, it's okay. We go through a phase where we're kind of like, you know, testing things out, dab a little bit here, try a little bit of that, and then you kind of go, ah, I probably wasted all this money a little bit, but it's part of the process. Hopefully, you know, there is a better way, okay? Now, you need to come up with a big idea, and, and your messaging has to be refined. It's I think most entrepreneurs and experts and coaches, they're all kind of same old, same old with their marketing and messaging. How do you really stand out? How, how do you become this purple cow? You know, what business model works? There's so many models from webinars to this and that uh, to ads and, oh, goodness me, it's so complex, right? And then funding. Funding, yes, if you don't spend wisely, you're going to run out of money and you're not going to be able to afford things that really matter, Could it, you know, whether it's coaching or mentoring or hiring people. Make sense? So these are all critical things. Factors. Go watch this TED Talk by Bill Gross. Uh, Bill, I'll just type his name if you're curious. He came up with these five factors. Bill Gross TED Talk. Right, I'm going to be sharing a lot of nuggets that, you know, I can't go into detail, but I'm going to tell, hey, go check this out, right? It's a short TED Talk, 18 minutes, well worth watching. Fair enough, yeah? All right, good stuff. So timing is important, team execution, big idea, business model is the fourth most important. And then money, money will come if you have a brilliant team and a brilliant idea, et cetera, et cetera. So what are the mega trends that we're part of and hopefully you're part of? You're probably part of the consulting opportunity done for you, agency work. You're probably part of the e-learning and coaching because I think you need to merge these two. Just, you can share information. People are paying for information. They can go to YouTube, but they want someone to curate and give them in a much more systematic fashion. And then they begin to realize, well, if I'm not really executing properly, am I doing it right? I can give the same recipe as anyone, as someone else, and why do they come up with something completely different? That's why you need coaches and mentors. I think everyone gets that. E-commerce industry is another massive mega trend if you're involved with that. One in six dollars are spent online, crazy. And what do all these gurus teach, but not in depth, all right? Who recognizes some of these gurus? I think you probably recognize at least 80% of them from the Ty Lopez, Gary Vee, Tony Robbins, uh, Brendan Burchard, um, Grant Cardone, etc. About half of these guys are our clients, so we're happy to... We are creating a challenge. Everyone, uh, you know, all the big guys are doing challenges and, we, you know, we think there's a place for what, you know, what we have to share. And we want to also challenge you to get out there, share your message with the world and do it with confidence, with, you know, shameless audacity. I don't know where that popped up. One of my team members whacked that video in there and I wasn't expecting that to pop out. But this was a clip from a little promo video that I did just with Zoom, you know, very simple. Um, oh, is, it, is are we having problems with the presentation at the moment, Natalia? Can you unmute and just tell me? Oh, yeah, I see a gray square covering the presentation. <laughs> the entire thing? 
No, just on the right, like oh. a. Right. How's that? Is that yeah, happening now better? Now it went up, but it's still there. This one? Is yeah, really that one. Yeah. Oh, that's my chat box. Oh, I'll turn it off. How's that? Is it gone? Uh, yay! Oh, okay. that's great. That's technology for you. And it's weird. Zoom's having a bit of a glitch moment, a little bit of the matrix. Anyway, so thanks for letting me know. Um, yeah, so where was I? The, the high impact, we did actually a go viral challenge um, uh, about a month ago. And, you know, this, look, as I said, there's only so much I can teach in two hours. But who wants access completely for free? Our challenge, which involves now, after I did a little bit of uh, summation, over 20 hours of recordings, uh, you know, with swipe files and you name it, it, hundreds of pages of slides. We were selling it for up to $300 US for this uh, training. But, you know, currently we're selling it for 88 bucks just for the recorded version. But you can get it for free if you stay till the end of the presentation. So that's our little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Ethical bribe to keep you hooked because we know only about 60% of you stay to the end, uh, but we want to get that up to 70 or 80%, yeah? Two hours is a long time, but I guarantee it'll be worth your time if you stick with us, all right? So go viral challenge, a lot more in depth of what we're covering today. Uh, we're gonna give that to you for free. And also one of our partners in New York City, our buddies Jen and Chris, be on TV boot camp xfactorbranding.com um, anyway look this uh, th this amazing couple uh, have been really blowing up the online world to teach people what I'm really passionate about because I've been on TV for 15 plus years um, is about the power of television and how that it can transform your branding is, you know this presentation is about video branding etc and really video online video where did that all begin television so if you want to you know discover the secrets of you know being on TV and positioning yourself as this you know expert in your niche once again stay till the end <laughs> and we'll explain how you can get this you know absolutely for free it's a 55 dollar boot camp starts on december 10th this is a live boot camp guys um or uh, as low as just a few dollars all right less than 10 bucks all right it's currently being sold at 55 bucks but you know we have uh, uh you know it's a partnership thing that we have strategic partnership with chris and jen um they're running this boot camp on the 10th uh five days straight and uh you know We've got some special deals, put it that way. But you don't have to pay for it now or anything like that. You know, it's it's uh, you'll explain how we'll explain how you can get access to it for free or for or just a few bucks. Fair enough. So these guys go in depth. Once again, I can't cover so much. I'll share about some of my experiences about how television blew up my career. Uh, but it's not really about getting famous. I'm not saying you're gonna become a rock star or anything like crazy like that, guys. Uh, it's it's about utilizing video the right way. As Gary Vee would say, this is the most important content marketing strategy. Let's let's take a little break. Who here is actually um, doing videos now, like consistently? Like Me. who here? Okay, good, good, good. Who who here? Uh, you know, is actually has actually been on TV or wants to be on TV. Let's just see who, not consistently. Good, 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 Martin. That's one of the. All right, that was one of the keys. Consistency is key, right, guys? You know, back in the day, I was ha having to do YouTube videos every day, uh, be on TV every day as well, as I was in the media industry long time ago. All right, Mala, fantastic. You're a journalist, fantastic. So, you know, I, I was a kind of like a TV journalist as well for a short period of time uh, during my volunteer work. At, oh, wow. There you go. So some, some media folks here. Very, very important part of personal branding. Let's, let's get back into it. So video has really transformed the game, as Gary Vee would say. And, you know, Zoom has really transformed the game for, uh, for us coaches and consultants. You know, I've, you know, been part of... Um, you'll, I'll share a bit more about the experiences, but we've helped generate seven, even 
eight figure launches on Zoom. I mean, it's crazy. Even six figures just for unknown experts. Quarter million dollars for a dentist uh, of all professions. Um, anyway, Zoom has just changed the game. It's so easy to use. 10 million users back in December a year ago. Can you believe it's a year now? Unbelievable. And in four months, it not if, how do you, how, it's not quintupled, it's 30x, <laughs> you know, I don't even know what that is, 30 times. Now it's probably, I don't know, half a million, billion users or whatever, something stupid. But Zoom has really changed the game for all of, we're using Zoom right now. And, you know, we're going to show you how you can use Zoom to generate literally $100,000 launches with your expertise uh, running virtual events. Because, you know, we've been in the event business for many years. I've been running events for 15 years plus, 20 years, online, offline, uh, in the middle of Times Square, had a million dollar budget to, to pull that one off uh, to run a huge two day event, cooking competition, really crazy. I was the host of it and uh, one of the producers. And, you know, nowadays we don't fly around much. 50% of the world's business travel is going down the tubes because of Corona, right? Or COVID. So the world has changed. And how are you going to stand out? How are you going to stand out? Right? It's, it's a crazy world we live in. I mean, I, I came from the, you know, TV world back when I first came to New York. It was both TV online, YouTube, broadcasts, um, live, cable, satellite. Here I'm being a famous anchor, quote unquote, doing live crazy events in the middle of Times Square with hundreds of thousands of people walking by each day. This is a TV show that I had. Uh, this is I interviewed Dr. John Gray, men are from Mars and women are from where? <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, so women are from Venus, apparently. Uh, I didn't I didn't know that until uh, much later in life. And when I discovered that, I had a lot better relationship with girls because I realized they're from a different planet. I'm kidding. Oh, we're different. We're all different. You've got to be- You still see your, your chat box. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm trying to see what you guys are chatting, but uh, if it's, all right, if it's causing, if I stop the sharing, do you see it anymore? No, we don't see it anymore. Sorry to interrupt, Kian. You were no, talking about okay. fantastic things about women. Oh, yes, I know. It's, just, it's one of those things that you've just got to figure out in life as a guy, right? Until you get married and have kids like I do, then you go, oh, I'm all done. I don't have to figure out women anymore. <laughs> you think that's the end of it. All right, continue. So, um, yeah, so by getting on television, it really helped my personal brand, no doubt. And I got the attention of the likes of Gary V's team and Tony Robbins. I ended up Robert Kiyosaki's team. I started working with him, built his some of his uh, event websites, trailers. Tihar Vecca, Millionaire Mind Intensive, rebranded his entire Millionaire Mind Intensive offline events, all his videos, uh, his websites uh, through Success Resources, um, his marketing partners. Uh, who hired us to do that. Um, geez, my goodness, who's this fella? Tony Robbins, UPW. Who's who's done UPW? We did the entire digital marketing for UPW hey. London uh, last year before Corona hit. 10,000 people, seven, you know, huge seven-figure launch doing these from websites, the testimonial videos, we're editing cool Usher videos to, um, you name it, Facebook campaigns that, you know, millions of dollars in revenue. So, you know, and we've done even, we were involved with this year's virtual, when, when COVID hit, you know, a lot of my clients from the dentist to Tony Robbins. So, we, you know, it was teams, oh, we're gonna go online. Said, well, of course, you know, can you do our, can you do the videos for us, All right? So we edited some really cool videos for the UPW virtual events, you know, eight figures in sales, crazy. You know, obviously Tony, you can sell anything, doesn't need our videos, but you know, the point is, Videos matter and cool videos also can matter. Also to simple videos like Zoom. We were using just Zoom technology and we generated a quarter of a million dollars in revenue from a two day virtual event. All right, it's recorded now. But um, you know, I remember back in March, in February when I moved from New York City, I started uh, looking for places up upstate because I knew 
COVID was going to hit really bad. Um, and I had two young boys and a mother who was, is living with us. So I said, we got to get out, you know, we've got to get out of New York City. And it's pretty crazy. I don't know, you know, fleeing from, you know, Manhattan area, it, it was not, you know, it wasn't pretty. You know, we I'd lived in New York City for 10, 15, year, 15 years since 2005. And, you know, it's home. It's it's exciting. It's, you know, if you've ever been to New York City, you know what I'm talking about. A little bit crazy. But, you know, when, you know, we, as part of media, I knew that, you know, what was happening in China, the, the real stuff and the, the COVID was going to spread around the world. I said, we're going to get out of here. And February, we started looking in March, you know, I was telling my clients, it's going to hit, right? It's going to, it's going to really destroy the economy. We're going to be in lockdown. I don't know how many months the experts are saying could be, who knows how many years. And, uh, unfortunately that that's what's happened. So I said to my clients, you got to go virtual, got to go virtual. Right. And we did this. Um, they trusted us and you know, we were going to run this event in Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia, and literally pivoted in, in a few days, moved everything online. Luckily, we were going to do a, a virtual streaming anyway with, you know, we hired a, a company to do the virtual uh, live broadcast with camera people, etc., uh, using fancy technology, not Zoom, right? This is live stream. Anyway, so we did a quarter million dollars still, right? People are engaged still if it's done the right way because you're here, as I said, you're probably, even if you're not a coach or an expert, you could be even a professional, could be a real estate, you could be a broker, a financial broker, whatever, um, marketing agency. You need all, all you guys need video, right? You need the power of video done in not just the simple ways like Zoom, but also the advanced way using trailers and powerful testimonials will demonstrate. Because I launched this one video funnel uh, a couple of years ago and it generated only a couple hundred thousand views, Not wasn't super viral, um, but it it did its thing, right? It helped me generate close to a million dollars uh, in revenue, US dollars, uh, because I had the right messaging, I had the right videos and how it can literally transform your middle of Times Square all right recording this your business how do you, you know how did you do that I had a little lavalier mic here so all that noise around me was kind of muted out and your life especially if you're a you like pull off 90 seconds without no, I, I shot many different takes many different angles a little sentence at a time and edited it you know pieced it all together so you need to plan a little bit guys make sense Mission driven entrepreneur. Plan to share your message with the world. Change your script. Yeah. Plan. All these things you need to really think about when you are putting together your trailer, your high end trailer. Makes sense? So if you don't, you know, have this all prepared, you can't shoot these high end trailers, which can really differentiate yourself. So. Uh, don't worry, there is a, another free gift that we'll give away where we showcase the exact wording, the exact script, um, the exact formula, the G-R-E-A-T formula. Who wants this? So type yes if you want the whole transcript, 37 page uh, internal playbook. Type yes if you want it. If you don't want it, type no. Okay, so we'll give this away for free. Uh, no, you don't even need uh, an email. You will just give you the link. Okay, simple as that. All right, so as I said, I can only give you little nuggets and get you excited to do your own homework, right? At the end of the day, if you're just here for a bit of rah-rah and do nothing with this, ah, you're not going to get much out of it. Fair enough. Interact with the stuff that we're going to give you, right? Because very few people are talking about high-impact trailer marketing, right? Yes, we're talk everyone's teaching you the simple strategies, all that good stuff. We want to teach you the more advanced stuff. Makes makes sense, um, but you know it needs a bit of input from yourself. Do a bit of study with dozens of case studies here, thirty-seven pages, etc. Fair enough. Yeah. Can you share the link of your uh, trailer? Um, uh, it's all inside the 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 book that we give away. Fantastic. Okay. Fantastic. Yep. We'll give that at the end. Once again, a little um, uh, teaser to keep you until till the end. What time is it now? Let's see whether. Uh, Whoa, our kids are mayhem. Okay, yeah, Ben is, is going to join us in a few minutes. So um, 
Oh, that's very exciting. So I'll be inviting him over uh, in about 10 minutes. So we do have a methodology. So you got to start with your story. Your story matters, guys. Develop a strategic positioning in the market through your story. Does that make sense? So we call it strategic story selling um, technology. It's not just about marketing technology. It's your transformational technology. Your methodology to help guide people through the what? the mess of information um oh jennifer i know jennifer no problem if you if you, she's just saying she's not feeling so well um if you need to hop off this is recorded not to worry um awesomeness all right we want to help you present like natalia presents on a as you know on a daily basis she's just naturally awesome but she also trained to be an awesome storyteller yeah um relationships matter what did we say relationships over revenue Revenue. people offer over profit so remember that make that a mantra and that will transform your business we get into business wanting to become more free and more fully expressed and everything but ultimately it's not just about you yeah it's about everyone else (laughs) it's because they're the people who you need to serve in order to obtain whatever freedoms you're looking for, whether it's financial freedom, time freedom, blah, 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 blah. And finally, producer. How do you become a producer? That's why a company is called Star Producer Academy or Star Producer Studios for our agency. So the whole point is you need to learn this craft of producing, uh, whether it's Zoom meetings, virtual events, uh, videos. Yeah, that's when you can be develop the star effect. So how did Ben go from, literally it was an intern, he was editing my videos and he went viral in under 42 days and built a seven figure personal brand in just a few short years. I mean, we literally counted dollars. How much did he make over the last three plus years? A million, 70,000 US dollars just from Star Wars videos and the like. Can you believe it? We found Ray's Luke's light lightsaber, Anakin Skywalker, cursed, 3.3 million views. Oh my goodness, the world is just... Anyway, how can you make million plus just from talking about Star Wars? <laughs> but this is where we met. We were part of a ragtag team of video creators, okay, for a non-profit. This was where, where I followed my passion. My I was really passionate about helping with human rights and this particular nonprofit TV network in New York was really the beacon of light for so many suppressed, repressed people uh, in many communist countries where they're still uh, suppressing information. I uh, talk about fake news, right? Uh, places obviously like communist China where my grandparents are from and thus, you know, I had a real desire to, to want to help there. But, you know, it became a multi-language uh, TV network is the mission of really truth and tradition. Uh, Natalia uh, was part of the Spanish division. Yeah, Natalia. So we met ten yes, years yes, ago. Yes, I'm honored to to volunteer for this. Yeah, event. it's amazing. And this yeah. was literally one of the rank. We only had about twenty people in the early days. Uh, uh, we were volunteers, and uh, we wanted to make a difference. You know, some of these people are super famous. Mike Chen of uh, Strictly Dumpling Beyond Science. He's got ten million plus fans on YouTube now. He's come out on his own. Ben Hedges, I think, was the one taking the picture. He's got millions of followers now on YouTube. So we came out of a group of uh, folks who really wanted to make a difference. And as we obviously over the last 10 plus years spun off and did our own thing because we can't volunteer forever if you've got a family, um, we took the skills and became famous in our own right, right? So the path to success for me was like most of you guys. You know, I got into the whole consulting world of Fortune 100 consulting. Very boring. Won't get into that. Lost in the matrix. Um, And then I became this freedom fighting foodie. I came to New York, uh, you know, on a bit of a whim. I said, let's help out for a few months. You know, what's the worst that could happen? I discovered the accommodation (laughs) that we found was a tiny cockroach infested place for a little while. I'm getting out of this place. Thank you guys, but you know, I, I, I don't live with cockroaches, but that's New York City for you when you first come over, right? You never know what you're gonna get. It's like a box of chocolate. Um, but it was our mission to uncover the secrets of going viral because we were on a mission to spreading truth, right? And uh, you know, human rights issues that were 
plaguing and are still plaguing the world. Uh, type organ harvesting China and you'll you'll see some gruesome stuff. But anyway, um, we were following the Michelle fans, the Gary V's, the Ryan Higger, 22 million fans. These guys were the super famous YouTubers, right, back, back then, 10, 15 years ago. But we modeled and we eventually cracked the code. I was this reluctant TV, you know, anchor host. Uh, you know, I was, you know, I was volunteering. I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not trained for this. But yeah, look, you know, you, you sound like you could do an OK job at it. And gradually it got better. We got tens of views. Woohoo! Hundreds of views, eventually millions upon millions of views, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, etc. And I was winning all these awards. Yay! Uh, I made this film actually about this woman who was persecuted in China and it became an Oscar contender in 2014. And uh, so all this work led to one day I'm getting this is like a lot of cool things can happen when you go viral, all right? And this is like, who, who's seen Crazy Rich Asians? Come on, be honest. Who's seen Crazy Rich Asians? Come on, come on. Please, says Natalia. Come on, I, I like, I'm just probably sick of me, you know, saying how famous I am. But um, yeah, it's a fun, look, who recognizes the crazy cousin from Hong Kong? The, come on, I look kind of similar to Henry Golding, the main star, don't I? We look like cousins. All right, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, look. My, my cousin, my crazy cousin from Malaysia used to date Michelle. <laughs> uh, yo, the James Bond chick. And we were family friends, so I love pulling that little prank on everyone. Um, anyway, it's true. We're, we're very close. Um, Strictly Dumpling, 3.3 million fans. Mike Chen, he spun off. That's just one of his channels. Uh, the girls, Beauty Within, Rowena, Felicia, they're crushing it with their makeup channel, The Beauty Within, right? Uh, we've got 100 million plus fans now. This is a little bit old here, the 80 million. Billion views a month. So we cracked the code. This is the nonprofit that I was part of for 10, 15 years. Uh, launched Star Producer Academy just, you know, three years ago, roughly. And at, at the peak, we were at uh, whew, 2 billion views a month. Pretty neat. So there is a formula, right, to all this stuff. Um, and, you know, once you get out there, you and on TV as well, on video, virality, YouTube, social media, you start picking up all of these incredible opportunities. Google was inviting me to speak. Uh, I was invited to speak at the Genius Network, $25,000 um, a year membership. You know, I never saw myself as a genius at anything growing up. Uh, I was just hard at work. I was always a hard worker, but I found my quote unquote genius. And uh, when you put that extra effort, people start calling you uncle, Uncle Wong, like, you know, in an honorary, you know, Ben Hedges. Are you still, are you here yet, Ben? Has Ben joined us? Uh, let's see whether Ben is joining us just yet. 9.15 or any minute he's going to join us. Uh, but Ben was an intern. You can see here, this was about uh, eight years ago uh, before we launched his, uh, one of his channels. He was editing my videos. And uh, he called me uncle because he was 10, 15 years younger than me and still is, done it. But, you know, it's these, these youngsters, uh, they're crushing it. We, we actually set up a channel. Let me see whether he's joining us. Is Ben on? Let's see whether Ben is on. Are you going to call him live? Uh, yeah, let's call him live. Let's kind of sneak up on him. Ben, wake with, up! With landline, as yeah. you do. Uh, I love it. Oh, actually, he's joining now. Oh, he needs the link. <laughs> yes, don't forget to invite. Can someone give um, the link to him? Actually, I'll do it. Stop sharing. There we go. Where is he? Oops, sorry. Here we go. Never leave your guests hanging. All right, there we go. All right. Um, where are we? Let's see if we, let's, uh, let's, when he comes on, I want you guys to, to, to unmute, can we, no, you can't unmute, but let's all cheer for him anyway, yeah? Where is he? There he is. Promote to panel. Let's see. Make co-host. Hey, guys. Hello! Hey! The Hello. Ben Hedges, welcome, welcome. Hello. How are you looking? Hey, you're on, you're on live, you're on live. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Gotta look good, you know. <laughs> my hair's a mess today, so I said I'm oh putting God. on my cap. People, are you bold? Are you getting bold, Kian? No, I've got so much hair. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that, I need it's a lot. Disrespectful if I leave my hair hanging like that. All right, so welcome, Ben. We we're just saying, um, talking about the good old days where we met. 
Um, okay. And, you know, 2013 was when you start, see, Ben was an intern for a number of years until we discovered his genius. And you know what that was? He wasn't editing. That's not his zone of genius. It was the fact that he spoke amazing and uh, Mandarin Chinese. And, uh, you know, we all kind of knew that he studied Chinese, but I don't think we really understood how good he was, right? I think that was a hidden talent that some, that's, you know, really get to know your team members, your interns, because they have all this gifts that you, you know, if you don't really explore, this is what happened with Ben. Literally in a less than a year, he became the top five, believe me, if you don't read Chinese, that's okay. But here's how you bought he, this. He, it's him. Top five, the top three, he says. Right, Ben? At one yeah. time, top three, but we couldn't find the chart. <laughs> so we, we settled for top five. Top five. I think this was um, a year later. Most famous online celebrity in Taiwan. Now, granted, Taiwan only has uh, 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 25 million people. That's still a lot of people, right? Small country, but come on. That's still pretty cool, All right? So that's his channel there that we started uh, NTD started um, 2013, right? But then, guess what happened, right? He got on tele. See, initially it was just an online thing. Guys, let me tell you the strategy with getting on television. Start online, okay? I'm going to show you what, not only, you know, Ben as an intern, we, you know, cultivated his talent. Even my other clients, we started creating online videos for them, trailers, that then ended up getting them on HGTV. My goodness, like, if you want to get really quote unquote famous in your niche. Right? This is Ben being interviewed by Google and Yahoo people and media in Taiwan. His fans turn up, right? He's actually got real fans, right? <laughs> that turned up when he was visiting Taiwan. Um, the key is starting online first, all right? Rocket science there, right? Um, you know, he went from a celebrity, right? In, in Taiwan to complete unknown. Right, Uber driver and part-time YouTuber because he was a volunteer essentially. You know, might be there might have been a small stipend or whatever. But when you work for a nonprofit, you don't get rich. Okay, that's not the purpose. It's not the purpose, right? So Ben, I think you were married at that time or about to get have kids or something. So you decided it was you know time to launch your own channel. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I became a part-time Uber driver while I did it. And not just Uber. Where else were you working at? Uh, in the evenings, the stacking shelves at Trader Joe's. It's a supermarket. Yeah. Don't you love it? And then from there, you know, boom. You know, the, the last couple of years, two, three years, you know, he's done it not just once, twice, three, four times a lady or whatever the song is. But YouTube, 100,000 uh, plaque. You've got quite a few, though. So, you know, you've yeah. built a fan base of close to 2 million, which is pretty impressive in such a short time. Generation Tech, that's all about? Star Wars. <laughs> oh, my that goodness. By accident. We'll tell you that story. Yeah. And, and credit, uh, credit Shifu, Credit Master. That's uh, another channel that you're running. Generation yeah, that- Films, uh, Business uh, Shifu, which is all about business, obviously. Humanity First. Uh, t-shirt, is that, a pod- is that a channel? It's a podcast or? It's a podcast, but we sell oh. a T-shirt with that. Got it, got it, got it. And uh, you've got a few other channels. Was it Snow Channel and what else are you launching? Generation Snow. Uh, we got the Freedom Files, which just started, kind of news Fantastic. commentary show. Um, yeah, we Amazing. actually have a few other small ones, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. There's six main ones. So tell us the story, right? How you became, you know, just on this one channel, a couple hundred million yeah, views. Sure. Tell us where this all began. Okay, so actually it really began with one video. So we started this channel, Generation Tech, which we sort of, you know, loosely wanted to be about like sci-fi and technology and things like that. We didn't really have a clear goal, you know, a clear plan for it. And then uh, my business partner went to see Star Wars, the new uh, Star Wars by J.J. Abrams, the first one of the three new Star Wars movies. And when he came back, he had this question in his mind, like, who's Ray's father, right? Because he didn't know in the movie, you didn't, you know, who her parents are as kept secret. So he made this video, who is Ray's father and uploaded it to YouTube. I think it was the next day and it exploded. We got a hundred thousand views in the first month. Uh, And for a channel with, I think it was 64 subscribers at the time. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good to get a hundred thousand views in, in one month. Right. And uh, yeah, so you can see up there, 109 views in just 28 days after it was released and uh, 62 fans at the time. And it took us to, I think a few thousand subscribers after, after that video. So, uh, very successful. We basically we rode the wave of uh, Star Wars's uh, 
fame, you know, in order to uh, create something for ourselves. And, you know, just, just let me share a bit of the truth here about how much money you, you kind of make in this YouTube business. It's not get rich overnight. You, you know, November's when you started and you when you hit about a thousand subscribers in January 2016, that's when that you, that Star Wars video took off. Mm. But it still took you a solid two years. You can see it took you six, seven, eight months to hit $15 a month, which is crazy. 47 71 200 so talk about a year a year into it you were making a whopping three four hundred bucks a month and you had a business partner to boot <laughs> right so don't do it alone guys have a business partner at least they can share in the pain in the initial year or two and then uber driver part-time trader joe's part-time a couple of months in these are these are month by month and you were doing what four or five hours a day you're working hard seriously right part-time as well as your, your, your two part-time jobs so it's and that's what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do to do to to make it, you know. And uh, no get rich quick by any means. And then after two years, you finally quit. And by yeah. then, the exponential growth. Look at that: two hundred, four hundred, four hundred and seven hundred, three thousand. That was that, that would have been really exciting, right? Went from seven hundred to three thousand a month, six thousand, four thousand, nine thousand. But only until you hit consistently above five figures: eleven, thirteen, twenty-two, seventeen. Did you quit your job, which is, you know, very commendable. And that's split between two people as well. So, yep. it, you know, you get 15, it's really seven, 7,500 yep. each or less because. Yeah. Oh, yeah and but there's no ad spend, guys. This is no almost pure, pure profit. profit, which is the amazing thing about YouTube. Even now we're pretty much at 80% profit. Yeah. <laughs> and then now, you know, you know, you've hit over a million bucks in three, four years, and then you're on track to make three quarters of a million this year or something like that. You're 60, yeah, yeah. About that. Yeah. crazy. So look, guys, it's not a get rich quick thing, but uh, it's pretty powerful. Let's go through the strategies. Look, you want to go viral on a little, even semi-viral, on online, and then there's a much higher chance that you'll get picked up by TV, and then when you get picked up by TV, it just boosts it, boosts it to the next level, right? So you want some, you know, traction online, maybe some influencers sharing your videos. And then etc. But then once again, doesn't you don't need to go super viral to generate a million dollars even if you do yeah. the other model which we'll talk about. But let's just talk about the principles of, of high ticket. I'll talk about high ticket later. But we want to talk about the strategies of creating videos that potentially go viral or give yourself every chance to to create engaging videos. So Ben, over to you. All right, guys. So yeah, we come up with this acronym VIRAL for viral. And so there are kind of five elements of uh, the principles of virality for videos that can go viral. And the first one is uh, V. So that stands for be very, very, very persistent. Okay. Uh, we, we couldn't think of something that started with a P. So we had to be, <laughs> we had to do it this way. All right. So let's go to the next slide and we'll tell you what we mean by this. So um, when you upload videos, this is our main channel, our Star Wars channel. We look through all our old videos and out of 776 videos as of this summer, 30% of them were above 100,000 views, which counts as a reasonably successful video for us. 13% were above 500,000 views. So that's above the number of subscribers because we have 500,000 su subscribers. So that's, that's a very successful video when it goes past the number of subscribers you have. But then just 2.3% were over a million views, which I would say is truly a, a viral video, okay, for us, okay, because we already have half a million subscribers. If you have 5,000 subscribers, then something viral would be, you know, 10,000, 20,000 views, something like that, right? But for us, we, we put it, the benchmark is about a million, so we're truly viral. So just 2.3%. So even if you know sort of the perfect thing that your audience likes and the perfect formula, you can only know sort of candidates that could go viral, all right? You, you can never know for sure. And you just got to keep being persistent and keep uploading. And eventually you will have that viral video and you'll start to know these patterns and you'll be like, well, you know, every few months, you know, these types of big hitter videos that we upload, they do well, but every few months one does really well, <laughs> okay? And gets a million views or something. So um, that's one thing. You just got to be really persistent. I remember Roman Atwood, uh, said he's a big vlogger on YouTube. He said to Casey Neistat, just keep uploading, <laughs> all right? And that's really the truth of it. Even when you're not making any money on YouTube, you just got to keep uploading. And eventually, as long as your you know, quality is increasing at the same time, 
your videos actually will get picked up. Okay. You're going to do a few other things as well. You got some more strategy, but eventually it will happen. All right. Just sometimes waiting. All right. Let's go to the next slide. The equivalent for coaches and consultants. Look, we're not here to say you're going to become mm -hmm. a YouTube star like Ben, right? He's got a slightly different business model. Uh, but if you want to create some impact, uh, you need to start practicing shooting short little one to three minute videos every day. It literally takes you a few minutes, but that consistency is key. All right. So the I of uh, viral stands for I yourself or I am a storyteller. And uh, that's because we want you to bring a personal element into the videos. All right. Next slide. Yeah. Um, so, you know, on YouTube, there are some channels, okay, so you must bring in a personal element. On YouTube, there are some channels where it's someone who's more of a tech kind of person and they write a script and they upload it to a computer and a computer voice speaks the script and they show you some images on screen. Sometimes people find those sort of videos through search, okay? You can say targeting certain keywords, doing like SEO, approaching it from a technical standpoint, but no one subscribes to those channels, all right? Yeah, maybe they get some views through search, but if you don't have a personal element, um, people are not going to subscribe to you. Okay. And that's what you want. You want people to subscribe so you can generate long-term fans and, you know, people who you can actually sell a product to or people who will always watch your video when you upload. So yeah, let's, let's uh, move to the next uh, slide. So these are three YouTubers who really bring in a personal element really well. And the, most of these, well, two of these guys are in the niche that I'm in the financial uh, niche. So you've got uh, Graham Stefan, who's one of the biggest finance new YouTubers. And if you know anything about him, you know, if you've watched his show, you'll know he drinks 20 cent iced coffee in order to save money so he can invest in real estate. And uh, he he always criticizes millennials for eating expensive avocado toast, right? Those, those are two of his kind of recurring themes, all right? Then we've got to the right, we've got Meet Kevin. Uh, he's also in uh, financial and real estate niche here on YouTube. Uh, he's been sued by everyone. His catchphrase is don't sue me, bro. He's got, he sells t-shirts that say, don't sue me, bro. He's supposedly been sued by Grant Cardone. I don't know if that's true or not, but he's talked about that on his, on his, uh, <laughs> maybe, on his, maybe uh, being show. threatened to be sued. Yeah. I think that's more what it is. He's been, he's also probably been, been sued ceased by and desist for making all this. Yeah. 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 And uh, Kion, why don't you talk about Michelle Fan as well, how she was yeah. able to leverage her Oh, look, she, she actually was super smart about her personal brand. She went really viral when she leveraged other people's personal brand. Now, what do I mean by that? When she did the Lady Gaga makeup tutorial that I, you know, stumbled across and actually researched, why did this go super viral? Um, give me a break, guys. I was learning about virality, stumbled across it, had to get on TV, had to learn makeup. So anyway, Michelle Fan did a makeup tutorial on how to look like Lady Gaga. And that just went super viral. So really clever. She took her brand to the next level, leveraging other people's brands in a very clever way because it was relevant to her business. Think about Ben. He built his, you know, channel through Star Wars's brand, effectively. And uh, so, you know, she did that. And then she took that fan base of, you know, I think 8 million people at the time and monetized a tenth, 800,000 people were paying $10 a month for her website subscription-based business model, $10 a month to get sample makeup customized to your preferences uh, every month, $8 million in revenue. That's just the front end. Think about the back end when uh, people you know, upgraded to the full products and so on and so forth. Pretty amazing business she built. So that's the power of building you know, your fan base and uh, putting together a proper business model. Okay, um, yeah, awesome. So let's go on to the next. Uh, so R. the R of viral is to be relevant, okay? Now let's go to the next slide. And any of you guys know who these people are? I'm sure you do. So you've got Jake Paul. He's one of the biggest YouTubers at the moment. Jenna Marbles, uh, she was really big on YouTube, but a bit of the older crowd. So maybe not some, some of the young people watching this might not know. Uh, who she is, but uh, Mr. Beast, he is the fastest growing YouTuber right now. He has over 40 million subscribers. Every video he uploaded over the past year has got over 10 million views. Um, his highest viewed videos have over 100 million views. Um, so, but what do these people have in common? Well, these people, they are already famous, okay? So if they upload a video, if Jake Paul, for example, uploads a video, what I had for breakfast, 
people will watch it, all right? Because he is already a star. His name is already a keyword in search. You know, people are going to be like, oh, what, did Jake, what does Jake Paul have for breakfast? Maybe I can eat that and I can be like Jake Paul and be a big star, you know, for whatever reason. But people will watch it. But if you upload that, if you upload a little video to YouTube, just how what I had for breakfast, um, no one's going to watch it, guys. I'm sorry. No matter how good it is, it's just not really going to get watched. So you need to think of a way to latch yourself onto something that people are already searching for okay and this is sort of a bit of a key to fast growth on youtube if you know you could go the route of just making really entertaining shows all right and not associating yourself with anything else that's already popular and just being entertaining but that's going to be a slower route okay really the fast route is being relevant to what people are already searching for all right we'll give you a few examples of that so uh yeah let's go to the next slide so I'll give you two examples of how we did this on our channel. So you've already seen the Star Wars example, okay? The Who Is Ray's Father video. We uploaded that uh, just after the new movie came out. We got a load of views. Uh, and then we basically kept going. We just, we were like, all right, we've done well with this topic. Let's make this channel into a Star Wars channel. We didn't plan it originally, but we like, we noticed the trend. We noticed we were doing well on those keywords. And we were like, let's just do it. So we ended up making, you know, turning it into a huge, uh, Channel is now over 500,000 subscribers, one of the most popular Star Wars channels on YouTube. Uh, then we have the one below, Chase Sapphire Reserve, How to Get Approved. Now, this is on my credit card review channel. And, oh, a gray box. Interesting. Um, okay. And uh, so basically, this really popular credit card came out in the US market in around 2016, the Sapphire Reserve. A lot of people wanted it. And it's kind of a premium credit card. So some people like wondering what the requirements are to get approved what kind of salary do you need to have what kind of credit score do you need to have so i uploaded this video chase sapphire reserve how to get approved and i told people how i got approved for it because i got denied for it originally and then i phoned up and explained a few things and then they were like okay we can approve you ten thousand dollar limit here you go um so basically i told them about the experience and gave a few tips and the number to call and everything like that and yeah, this video did really well. You can see over 155,000 views. Most of those views came back in 2016 when this was a really hot topic. So it's amazing, just doing one little thing for some, some you know, one step ahead of the curve, as they say, right? Doing one little thing extra, solving a little problem, and you can have 100,000 people thanking you for it and making a little bit of money through the process. Pretty neat. Yeah, and, and also how-to content, educational content, teaching people how to do things. People are actually searching for that. So. With this credit card video, you got two things combined. You've got a hot topic and it's a how-to. So those two things make it especially likely to, to get views. Um, but yeah, basically piggybacking on the fame of something else to get views for your channel. And then once people subscribe, you know, because a portion of the people who watch it, they'll just watch it once and be like, all right, I know how to get a peer for this card now. See you later. But a, another portion of people will be like, hey, I actually quite like this guy's content. Uh, I want to hear more tips and tricks for credit cards, or I want to hear more thing of stuff about Star Wars, I'll subscribe to their channel. And then they become a long-term viewer. So, you know, a portion of those people who watch it, and each time you get a big viral video, you know, maybe get like 5% of the people will subscribe or 2% of the people will subscribe and you gradually increase your baseline and, you know, grow your channel. All right. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So the A of viral. Uh, stands for analyze. So good YouTubers, they analyze their successes and then they build upon them and develop them into new new video ideas. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. Um, we'll just talk about analyzing thumbnails. Okay, so thumbnails are the little pictures you see on YouTube when you, um, you know, when you're browsing YouTube and you see a, a lot of pictures, a lot of videos on the home screen. So I'll show you the thumbnail of our first million view video. Actually, it's up to 2.2 million views now. Uh, the real size of Star Wars ships explained. And uh, we discovered a kind of formula that worked, which is bringing fantasy into reality. So we would show a fantasy ship next to a real city. That's New York City, downtown um, financial district of Manhattan. And you've got the Star Wars Super Star Destroyer, hmm. 12 miles long, uh, basically over the whole of Manhattan. Okay, so really, really cool. And when people saw that, it kind of triggered something in their brain like, oh, I'd never thought of that in terms of a real city before. Interesting, you know, bringing fantasy into reality. So we found that this worked with this one video. So what do you do once you've analyzed? Okay, then you can, next slide, 
Um, you can repeat, 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 okay? And YouTube gives you views, okay? So you see we did The Real Size of Star Wars Ships Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, and then we ran out of ships. So we did ground vehicles. And you can see all these videos have hundreds of thousands of views, all right? And then what do you do when you run out of ideas for that sci-fi franchise? Well, you switch the franchise, okay? So we have The Real Size of Star, Star Trek Ships, Part 1, okay? 1.5 million views, Part 2, Part 3. Uh, etc. Okay, so this whole series, I think it accounted for about 12 million views. Um, so at uh, $5 per thousand views, which is what we were getting at the time, that's 50, is it, yeah, it's, it's about $50,000. No, maybe it's $60,000. Yeah. Impressive. $5 per thousand. Anyway, pretty it impressive. I think just it's $60,000. Just to do a little video making 5000 a pop, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, so it's about $60,000 um, for this whole series. And that was in just a few months. We did these videos in uh, two to three months. And they weren't, the, they weren't the only videos we were uploading. We had other videos in between. But anyway, you can see how just one idea, you analyze it, you think, why is this successful? All right, let's go with this, okay? So, uh, and then you make series out of it and YouTube loves it. And they, they push those videos out because they know it does well. Um, yeah, so that's uh, analyzing, okay? So I just want to add a note here, all right? Think, how does this apply to your business? You know, when you're stuck with creativity, because what I'm going to be creating this time for the video, think about analyzing what's gone viral and take different elements, remix, repeat, take fantasy into reality. You know, what, what's really hot on uh, the fantasy world of Netflix, you know, or whatever. And how can you, or news, how do you tie it in with what? That's another thing. Yeah, that, that can happen too. When something comes out on Netflix or on TV, Hmm. you can often, if you do something on YouTube at the same time, like you'll get huge views. Like I did a video uh, on my credit card channel. I did a, uh, a documentary, a 10 minute mini documentary about uh, the Magnesis card. Uh, you guys might not know this, but it was this guy who he, <laughs> uh, he created this festival called the fire festival. It was a music festival and it, uh, it, it totally bombed all right he flew people to this island in the caribbean and they got stranded there and it was just terrible okay all the bands pulled out but before he did that he actually had a, a credit card called the magnesis card that he would you know sign people up for okay this kind of credit card and i had a, vi a video about him and then netflix came out with a documentary about him more focusing on his fire festival fiasco all right but um actually when that documentary came out this video that I had, because everyone, they watched the documentary and then they searched online for more information about him. They searched the guy's name and they found my video. And I got <laughs> in like a couple of hundred thousand views just from, you know, like the video had already been there for like a year. And then when this documentary came out, I just noticed, whoa, this, this video is like going viral now because everyone's seen this documentary and then they want yeah. to know more. So they find my video. So that can also happen, you, you know. Yeah, whether it's intentional or not, but we want you to do it intentionally. We want you to look at what's hot, you know, what's trending make videos about that, views will come your way. All right, let's go to the next uh, slide, Kim. Okay, so the last uh, letter of viral is L, and this stands for laugh and cry. And uh, originally it was just laugh, but uh, we wanted to emphasize bringing emotion into the video. So laugh and cry works a little bit better. Um, so next slide. So you don't have to be a comedian. You don't have to make people laugh. You can also make people sad, and that will bring out uh, sort of a, a reaction in people. There's actually a load of different emotions that you can use to your advantage, and getting emotion into your videos really makes them much more shareable. Okay, so we've got humor, we've got anger, we've got awe. Okay, for, wow, isn't that amazing? Joy, sadness, and inspiration, inspiring people. So all of these emotions are really valuable for actually creating a response in people uh, and making them want to share your video. Uh, let's hit up the next slide. So I got an example here from Mr. Beast. Now, Mr. Beast, he made a comment saying that, uh, you know, he gives away money in his YouTube videos. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but he'll go and he'll order water and then he'll tip $10,000 or something like that to a waiter and film their reaction, okay? And he, just got, he also does some other videos where he holds challenges with his friends and he gives them money too. But he looked back, he analyzed, okay, like, like we tell you to do, he analyzed his videos and he looked back through like a year's worth of videos or something. And he realized that the ones where he's giving money to ordinary people do far better, far more views than the ones where he's giving money out to his crew, all right? 
And I guess the reason for that is probably the emotion. Right? He's genuinely changing people's lives, all right, giving them money rather than just giving money to people who are on his payroll already, right? So he did this video called I Opened a Free Bank. Um, if you're interested in doing YouTube, I really suggest you watch this video. It's a great case study, 39 million views. And I would say it combines, you know, several emotions, really humor, joy, and sadness, and also inspiration. So first we have the humor. Um, so he, he basically rents a, an old bank building and he brings, you know, a couple of hundred thousand dollars and he just gives people money for free. So you can see the first photo here, top left. It's just, you know, humorous, giving out this money. It's really funny. But then the second photo, a little bit lower down, was that these people, they came into the free bank and the lady explained to him, oh, that her husband had had a heart attack uh, a few weeks before and he was still recovering. I think that's her husband there. I mean, it looks like he's recovered very quickly. But anyway, uh, trust me, I think it, it was genuine because they were shedding tears on, on the screen, you know. But yeah, he couldn't work because he'd had this heart attack and he was still off work. And they were, you can see the t subtitle, we've been trying to make ends meet. And Mr. Beast gave them like $10,000 or something. You can see them holding the money there. And they were all shedding a tear. You know, she was crying, Mr. Beast even wiping a little tear off of his eye. And it was super moving because you're like, wow, they're like changing these people's lives. Not only is this a bit of fun, but also it's like, wow, it's hard hitting. I'm genuinely moved. And that, it's that that makes people want to share these videos. Okay. It makes them want to go viral. All right. So bringing emotion into your videos, laugh, make people laugh, make people cry, whatever it is, whatever emotion it is, but just try and bring some emotion into your videos. And that's something which really um, elicits a response and makes people want to share them. This is what it's about. You guys get to be in the drama business. How cool is that, right? So, look, I know that you might think this is going to be too slow and, you know, take years. You don't have years to do what Ben has done and work at Trader Joe's and Uber. But let's give Ben a big thanks for the inspiration, nevertheless. I'm sure we've taken some nuggets and points of how to create really engaging video. Yes? Type yes if you got some amazing stuff from Ben and let's give him a big thanks as he heads off amazing stuff thank you Ben Ben all right cool. well um thank you very much you later. And, I know uh, you gotta uh, run and send your kids to to uh, daycare or whatever we'll see you next time thanks Ben yeah I hope you enjoyed it guys thanks for having me terrific thank you thank you yeah excellent stuff all right so all right so what did you guys get from that let's kind of share let's take a little break and type in some of the key nuggets all right Natalia, I mean, every time I listen to Ben talk about this, it gives me some more insights into virality because he's constantly producing, you know, three, four, five videos a week at the moment uh, for his different channels. And, um, you know, I'm spending more time on the teaching and the coaching and the marketing side. And he's, you know, spending more time just doing as a YouTuber would do, just churning out tons of videos. Uh, for his different channels so we get slightly different business models which we'll come to in a moment we're going to be talking about high ticket uh, marketing and sales for coaches and consultants right where it's a, di a different business model you're not making money on ads inside your youtube channel you're making money through teaching and coaching etc marketing your expertise online so just quickly share some of the things that you guys got from uh, Ben's mini masterclass on virality. What were some of the things that you found, Stephanus or Natalia, that you can apply, you know, in your future videos? Well, three things. Uh, um, the personal element is key. Um, your face, your voice, uh, your story. Um, second, uh, being relevant to what people are already searching for. Mm -hmm. Instead of just showing, you know, what you ate for breakfast, yeah. <laughs> no one cares. And uh, and then uh, when something works, repeat, repeat, repeat. Yeah, if you think about a lot of the famous talk shows, what do they do? They just interview famous people. What's relevant? Think about it. Right? You don't have to be the expert in whatever. You can be the kind of like the journalist, the the TV host. That's what I was doing for many years. All right? TV. Here's a, a, a more insights in how to get on television. You know, TV producers are the ones who are, are always hungry for great stories. Yeah. So if they're if you've got a phenomenal story, it behooves you to go and capture that in a very short 90 second trailer, you know, a little short little teaser trailer, script it out, take your time, come up with your pitch, 
because all these producers and so on, they want to hear, they want to be blown away by something moving, something emotional, yeah? And if you've got that and you can learn how to pitch to their PR people or PR people help you pitch your thing to TV producers, you can get online, right? But if you can just do something that is powerful within itself, it will be shared and it will attract the tension of people. And one of the you know strategies of going viral is once you get your family and friends to boost something and then their family and friends will share it and then uh, then you can go to target journalists and writers all right and bloggers you it's you can hire VAs from all around the world cost effectively they could target the top one or two hundred writers about a particular topic yeah that you've that your your story relates to and then they can email them direct give them the pitch send that link to the video that has gone semi-viral already they further write about it further boost the numbers on your video and then at that point you pitch a local tv station look it's like twenty thousand views already so and so has written about it you know then you've got more ammunition to get on local tv they're always hungry for great local stories yeah once you get on local tv you go onto the big boys channels, right? We've been on NBC. When I created Free China, Courage to Believe, we got Jennifer, we were invited to NBC. We had a PR company that we paid for, all right? Um, you know, you've got different strategies to get on television. We want to teach you methods where you don't even need to pay for PR. Makes sense? So there's other ways, cost-effective ways as well. So there's a whole strategy, but really getting a story into because you've only got two minutes you know the producers are thinking can this guest guest really inspire and share this story in literally two three four minutes that's all you got when you're gonna get on a local uh morning show or whatever you've only got a couple of minutes right what are the top five that they want you to say what are the top five things that will help people in whatever area of life make sense type yes or yes now be on tv boot camp will go into a lot more depth you know jen and chris you know that's all they focus on and you know teaching people they're amazing connectors they run events with 100 plus producers there at their parties at their events and then you get invited you know if you're joined there whatever you get to mingle with them and be on t tv that's one strategy that they've put in place because they're super connectors in new york city you got to be super connected to make it right so relationships over revenue people over can't hear you, Natalia. You're muted out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt your voice, but oh, you can no, no. see me. You can see my Got gesture. It. Fantastic. So there you go, right? So that is part of the secret of getting on TV. Perfect your pitch, guys, right? Let's move on to building a YouTube channel is too slow. I get it, right? You guys here, who wants a faster way to generate high ticket clients? Type yes if you want a faster way. Is my gray box still popping up? Let's see here. Is the gray box still popping up, Natalia? Yes, it is, sir. I don't know what's happening with Zoom today. It's, it's one of those, everyone's on Zoom. <laughs> All right, is that better now? There's no more little box? No more box. Okay, good. So the power of just one high impact video funnel. It's not just one video. If you want to do this without having hundreds of thousands of subscribers, then you need to build a funnel a system a series of videos that get people hooked in uh, to either book an appointment or join one of your webinars or get on a virtual event it's really the gateway to getting these high ticket clients because there is a seven hour rule guys sure you want to grab people's attention you only got a few seconds to do it on Facebook or YouTube literally three to seven seconds the video script formula GREAT grab attention write this down guys share it Think about it, implement it in your next video. All right, can I get a yes? If you're gonna at least take this formula, use this formula when you come up with your next one or two minute script. Don't just blindly, you know, chit chat uh, without putting some bullet points down before you go live. Okay, how do you grab attention? How many ways can you do that? All right, where can you? You could be outside, you could be walking and talking doing something different it could be the words obviously that you say to grab their attention how do you relate to people's pains and paradise right both the pain and paradise how do you get them excited with painting the picture of what could be and educate them 
on a few key nuggets that are actionable so that they're going to be more likely to take action when you ask them to do something, share, like, whatever, uh, opt in. And then how do you pepper your video with social proof and testimonials, not just at the end, but all throughout your short little video. So it's a lot of concepts, only five really key things. But if you can incorporate that into a short 90 second, two to three minute video, this framework works for three to five minute videos even, right? You can potentially get something that's really high impact and gets people engaged. Once again, go into a lot more depth. Um, you know, there's literally hours of good training inside this manual here and dozens of scripts. So, you know, we're near, near, near the end of this uh, 90 minute, two hour presentation. Organic versus paid. How about both? Right? I really, you know, we don't just say, hey, YouTube is out, the, out of the reach for us coaches. We don't have years to build it. But hey, are you in this for the short term or the long term? Can you still build a YouTube channel that may not reach a million subscribers or 100,000 subscribers, but even tens of th thousands of subscribers is significant if you have a particular niche that you are serving. Make sense? Um, David is a realtor. He came and approached us a few years ago and said, hey, can you help us coach me on putting together you know, a trailer? So we did it, boom, hot market. Now he's in HGTV's hot market. You know, We helped him produce half a dozen videos. We were coaching him on Zoom like this and were able to get him to become quote unquote famous, right? Because he had a very powerful trailer that still till this day, is on his About Us page, davidchanelli.com. You can check it out. Um, and we're doing, teaching him how to use using selfie videos. That was a little selfie video, you know, how to get rid of the junk in your house before you sell your home. We were just coaching him how to just use his cell phone video to get, create amazing engagement. Ikram in Malaysia was running, you know, uh, David's in Toronto and you know, Canada, but, oh, well, there's a video work in, in other parts of the world. Oh, absolutely. Even in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, uh, the capital here of Malaysia, where my dad's from, uh, Ikram was producing for the first time little videos after going through some of our training. And he was selling these $2,000 workshops off this one video and some sales copy, right? And it was getting a 20x return because it was really amazing. He was had a really cool topic. Airbnb um, was kind of, you know, relatively new, not too many people using that strategy in Malaysia. Um, and so the question is, how do you build a seven figure, six or seven figure, you know, coaching business model, right? Everyone says, go high ticket. Who's, who's heard of the concept of high ticket? Let me just see if, you know, you know, everyone's been going, yeah, go high ticket, go high ticket, right? Don't sell $30 eBooks and hundred dollar courses, yada, yada, yada. Right, who, who here has been sold the whole vision of let's go high ticket? I, I get it, right? The, the lure of being able to sell $2,000 programs, $5,000 programs, $10,000 program. Oh, you only need two clients a month. Oh, you only need five clients a month to hit 20000 a month, blah, 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 blah. But is it that easy, right? If anyone's ever tried the quote unquote simple high ticket webinar funnel that most gurus are running right now, well, it might be easy for them, and there's a reason why. It's because they've got amazing testimonials, amazing social proof. They can get away with, because they're also prolific in creating content that you see over a period of time, you're indoctrinated. So your ads, their ads also, when they run them, get you to register, get you to opt into one of their webinars, and then get you to book an appointment because you're already pre-sold like crazy. And then they've got a sales team that say, oh, you need is a sell. You don't have to do the selling. And then boom, they either sell you a high ticket program or, you know, last for three months, 12 weeks, eight weeks or whatever, uh, or like 50,000 if you join their one year mastermind, something crazy, uh, or they downsell you to a thousand, two thousand dollar uh, program that's just, you know, do it yourself. Go and watch your own record, watch my recordings if you don't want our coaching. So that's the current model that everyone's teaching. Now, we did something slightly different even years ago. We were running what we call the Star Infomercial Funnel. This is a defunct, it's not, this doesn't work. So don't try to opt in to this funnel. I'm not trying to get you to uh, opt in and book a call with me. Uh, but this is a previous funnel ad that I was running. Are you a multiple six-figure coach? This is when we were doing uh, done-for-you services, 
uh, agency work as well as you know high ticket coaching uh, you know charging six to fifteen thousand dollars for coaching and six figures for agency type works up to right fifty thousand minimum and upwards anyway so we were very specific with our messaging are you a multiple six figure coach or consultant wanting to go to seven figures and beyond the key is high impact videos all right so Yes, don't click on this button if you're not making 200,000 US or more and you want to scale to the next level, right? So, as I said, this is no longer working, this funnel. But this video is here. I want to demonstrate what we call a um, testimonial reel is the first thing that they see because it doesn't matter what you say about how amazing you are. It's what other people say. It's so what social proof of being on television or in this case, giving people celebrities or clients to say you're amazing make a difference what's the secret to attracting high ticket dream clients hi everybody i'm forbes riley now so being in the tv industry i was able to connect with forbes riley at an online event and that she was you know part of as well and boom right tv infomercial queen uh two billion in sales and she gave me this just phenomenal off-the-cuff uh, endorsement here. This is the power of not just a trailer for yourself, but getting third-party endorsement, adding a little bit of music, a little bit of uh, subtitles, little name cards here, really cool. I know you've seen me late night television endorsing amazing people like Jacqueline and Montel Williams and some phenomenal products. But every once in a while, I bump into somebody extraordinary. And that just happened in Las Vegas. His name is Keon, and you know him from Star Producer Academy. I'll tell you what, when you get a chance to work with Keon and talk to him, his mind is very fast. He sees things in people, how to take your brand to the next level. If you get a chance, he does a one day or a strategy session where it's just kind of a one on one. He has opened my mind to possibilities and working together with him. Oh my gosh. So, you know, the funny thing is when you look at him, and I don't think he's listening to this, he sounds so amazing. I love that Australian accent, but it's more than that. It is the depth of his knowledge. He's been around the block and he's got a passion for mission driven entrepreneurs. And we share that. Sure, we can all do things for the money. But when you do something that matters, and maybe you're stuck, you're like, I don't know how to get to the next level, he is the man that you need to look at, and I wouldn't wait. I he's got very limited time. You want to get a strategy call with him as soon as possible. I think it's free. The information is below. Please take advantage of this opportunity, because he, like I, have one mission, one passion for you guys, is to take your life, your business, and your dream to the very next level. Can you see how powerful getting endorsements like this is for yourself, for your brand, for your business? You know, that you need to put yourself out there, create videos and build real relationships before people are going to, you know, do stuff like that for you. But just with one or two powerful testimonials like this, you can get people to book calls and sign up for your high ticket. Yeah. And then if you've got webinars, you can record it. You know, we're recording this right now, obviously. And some people will quickly book a call, then they're going to be further, you know, wowed by a more longer webinar. People sometimes don't have a lot of time. They may not want to watch 60 minutes before they decide whether they want to get to know you, yeah? Or connect, reach out, or whatever. So that's a slightly different model that I don't think many people are teaching if you've got really good social proof. If you're on television, you might whack that up there. A little excerpt of your TV interview, yeah? So that could be an incredible way to get people to like, wow, this guy's the real deal, all right? You don't get on a television easily. So uh, look at other, other funnels. You can re-engineer funnels from gurus, but once again, be careful about doing that because their content is so different from what you can deliver because they've got immense social proof, right? But you can just start with one video. Sometimes one powerful testimonial is all you need to get people to reach out, right? Yes, you know, it's not as simple as that to get a really cool testimonial, but it all starts with your messaging, your mission, your why, all that good stuff. Now, we have a much faster path to what we believe, much easier for non-so-famous folks like the Dan Henrys, etc., the the you know, the Tony Robbins of the world. And this is what we call what we call the Start Infomercial Funnel and virtual events, right? Where you create low and high ticket offers, 
Makes sense? So it's really a combination to get people to, you know, before they're going to reach out and spend even an hour with you one-on-one or your team, you know, they might need to check you out a little bit more uh, because studies have shown that you need about seven hours of research. Someone's going to spend seven hours of checking you out or deciding before making a big ticket decision. Now, you do the math. People watch dozens of hours, you know, lots of videos of Ben's YouTube channel. He's making money through that and he can make offers, right? Um, if you have the gurus out there constantly creating content, you've probably consumed hours and hours of their books and tapes and online videos before you fork out thousands of dollars to attend their live events or join their coaching program. Yes or yes, right? Without realizing it, they've, you've been gurified, right? Or uh, they've gurified their marketing in such a way that you've been brainwashed into willing to fork out. Because, But for us lesser mortals, how do we recreate the gurification process, you could say? Uh, and it's by running Zoom virtual events that last five, six, seven hours, right? It's one of the techniques that we teach, get people to just quickly go and run a Zoom event, five day, one hour, one and a half hours each time. Uh, you can offer for free, a low ticket, but at the end of it, anyone who joins and willing to spend six, seven hours with you, do you think they're likely or more likely to hire you for your consulting services for a thousand few thousand a month or packages or join your group coaching to get the transformational experience or later join your higher ticket masterminds make sense so there is a pro and then you can scale to the masses you get testimonials you've got real results for pe real people you can gradually build your six or seven figure business model start with because you know back in the days real estate you know, promoters would run one or two day free events. I'm from the event business. We know that if we can get people into a, uh, onto, into a live environment, they could spend up to $10,000 just after watching, you know, a day or two of content. Make sense? So we can replicate that. Now you don't have to fly around. You don't have to spend literally hundreds of thousands in hiring venues or tens of thousands or thousands even hiring venues. You can just have 10 people, 20 people in a small, and your commitment is like an hour, an hour and a half a day doing five day boot camp. Yeah. And then you're more like that person joining is more likely to invest in your whatever. But don't do it in one hit. You might want to spread it over, or you might do a one day event virtual. You might spread it out over three to five days, etc. So people are implementing as you go etc etc make sense and before you even get there once again right you you want your sizzle trailer but the gurus also recommend and we do as well what we call the kale this is the secret sauce really that you might not realize but the gurus are doing selfie videos the gratitude the on stage stuff interviews the tv stuff uh, a bit more those these are one to three minute videos to get people to know you know get to know you understand your philosophy you're being vulnerable so they you know wow what's what they're sharing you know we love we love eavesdropping on on people's you know reality show so to speak um and then the how-to videos are a bit longer they're the youtube videos the webinars the stuff that you're not even asking people to opt in sometimes they just give it away for free and then once they kind of know and like you then they're more likely to opt into your low ticket virtual events or whatever or jump on a call with you etc etc so there's a process guys to all this so secret number one strategic story selling i want to bring on natalia who is the most amazing storyteller because we know that facts tell and stories tell. yay all right so because ultimately if you want people to take action change their behavior which is above the surface not only do you have to change their thinking you got to change their feelings and emotion and then almost their physiology, their state, their heartbeat, their breathing. And there's nothing more powerful than video and storytelling and adding some music and whatever. Yeah. So Absolutely. this is where let's Natalia, tell us a little bit about some of your stories um, and some of the things that you've done that attracted the likes of Tony Robbins as you know a client and, you know, working with us, et cetera, et cetera. And we, we had lost touch for years, right? 
Yes, and we there's did. There's one video, one video that you did that blew my mind. It one was video. very authentic. Okay, so yeah, um, because the, the, the beauty of storytelling is that you get to share your values, right? When you tell a story. So then people like you in that way. And something happened uh, last July. Well, come on. I want to see people here in the chat. Just please tell us who went to UPW. Because this uh, last July it was my first time ever on a UPW experience, which was the first um, virtual UPW. And it was amazing. And I'm always, you know... Uh, writing on the chat, always trying to help others. The energy was beautiful. I enjoyed it so much. But on the last day, something happened. This was the first UPW virtual, okay? Maybe they've improved on this. But there was an incredible uh, doctor, uh, Dr. Tennant, sharing amazing information about the body, about how the body works. And he was talking uh, in, a, in a technical way. Um, and uh, he talked about root canal and said oh, about root canal, something about the organ. And the chat went crazy. Like people were not getting and 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 the energy went really low. Mm. Like people were criticizing Dr. Tennant. And I was like, come on, he's talking about this amazing information. But I realized that he didn't share a story. Uh-huh. People to anchor that information to get it. It was just boom, a lot of information without a story for people to feel and really understand what the, the, the point. Mm -hmm. And um, and when I got that, it was like 4 a.m. because I was doing UPW here in the UK. Yeah. It was 4 a.m. of the last day. And so, well, I closed my computer and went to, to sleep. And the next day, I can't say morning, it was the afternoon, I said, I got a story to share about this. I can't stand all these people that had this beautiful energy on UPW mm -hmm. ended up with this, you know, uh, criticism on the chat. It's like, no, this is not acceptable. I have to share this story. I lost my teeth <laughs> and got got them back. I know about this thing, avoiding root canal. Wait, 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 wait. So I think people missed that. All of a sudden you talked oh, about- people missed that because Dr. Tennant was talking about avoid root canal right? Avoid root canal. And I, I had a story to share about that. Mm -hmm. I lost my teeth Gosh. and managed to get them back with the power of absolute certainty, certainty which Who was what people were talking about in UPW. Everyone was talking, you know, uh, uh, Tony Robbins talks about uh, the power of absolute certainty. We had, I never can uh, pronounce the surname, Maria Menounas. Hey, Stephanus, you know, because that's, <laughs> that's a Greek She's surname. Greek. She's Greek, right? And she was sharing how she overcame um, a severe illness with that power of absolute certainty. So I wanted to bring in that energy. So I picked up my phone and recorded that story that I had. Who wants to see it? Who wants to see it? Uh, who wants a little, <laughs> a little snippet? All right, type yes if you want to see Natalia's amazing, I lost my teeth and miraculously came back, grew back or whatever. Didn't grow back. It, 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 yes is again. <laughs> yes. All right, okay. Now, a little backstory here. I hadn't been in touch with Natalia for years. We were Facebook friends, right? Yeah, occasional like here, like there. But... It's like I hadn't chatted with her in ages. And all of a sudden I see her, you know, saying, hey, I'm going to do UPW. I was like, hey, wow, like UPW, that's my, my thing, right? We're, we're the digital guys behind it. And I didn't reach out to her. I was too busy. We were working on the promo videos of the UPW virtual. Um, and then I saw this post inside. Uh, let me just bring it up for you guys. It's really cool. Where is it? Here it is. Let me share my screen. So I saw this video. Like this is a simple selfie video, guys. Nothing fancy. No, no lighting. No makeup. Nothing fancy, right? Have a look at this. Listen to Maria say. Well, at UPW, when we listen to Maria saying, "Listen to your gut," and Tony saying. Whatever you believe in will be, and talking about absolute what? Absolute certainty. And then Dr. Tennant's talk about root canal and people. Actually, this wasn't the video that I saw. I saw, I saw the other version which you uploaded. 
It starts in a second. The story starts in a second. Yeah, the one that I saw which really grabbed my attention was this one. Yeah. Full year for me. End of a stressful year for me. I was sleeping. Bang! I heard a noise. Woke up, stood up, and boom! I fell on the ground head first in a complete blackout. I regained consciousness, biting the floor. I took awareness of my surroundings, peeled off my teeth from the ground. There was blood. I l looked in the mirror, a grotesque image. My teeth had shifted Ew, inwards. Enough. It was uh, shocking. I'm, it was shocking. I'm going to share this if I, with permission. Yes, yes, do share it. Absolutely. I, I want you guys just to save this link, okay? Just copy, save it somewhere. Watch it a little bit later. It's about three, four minutes. It's a, you know, it's pretty, it's very graphic, but it's amazing about how, you know, she was able to miraculously recover from this without a, re without, you know, whatever the dentist was going to do to her, uh, through the power of certainty. I mean, she does this amazing meditation, qigong practice that obviously helps, right? Yeah. But, um, but the point is, when I saw this, why well, I have a dental client, you know, as I mentioned, right? We, and I was like, what is this song about? So. It was two elements. Not only do I know Natalia, but it was such a gripping story that I reached out to her. And it was an amazing show. Remember when I reached out to you? It was amazing. Like, so what are you doing? Let's catch up. So we caught up and, and eventually invited her to preview, to be the uh, the host for a Tony Robbins preview. So that from there and then, you know, the rest is history. Now we're, you know, working together in this, you know, partnership capacity. So... Just that's that's you know you could do something completely random a video you never know what you know past relationships remember relationships over revenue people over profit because that is the key to building partnerships to really growing your brand and business you never know how long it takes before that relationship cultivates to a level that can blossom into whatever type of business or whatever right. So it's a key with, I suppose, with any type of relationship, right? Give and just, you know, share and inspire, help become friends, right? As, as uh, uh, a lot of my mentors would say, build friendships first, you know, before, don't think about business. Right, get to know people. Because when I shared that story, it was just to help people, and I posted in the in the UPW virtual um, Facebook group, and so many people reacted in such a beautiful way and reached out to me, and I built oh. so many relationships, and actually it really helped me in my business. But I was not thinking of my business; I was thinking of helping others through my story, yeah. and through your story, you share your your values, your principles, your belief. And so you're going to attract the people that you want, the people yes. that you know, like vibrate in your same level, because yeah. that's the people you want to work with, people that have your same uh, values. So that's the power of storytelling. Uh, people would get to know you in a very deep level. So when I shared that story and, and talked about the power of certainty, faith, to get my health back, to get my teeth back, you know, which can be funny, but it, it was a big thing for me, uh, people liked me just because of that value right yeah. so we all have a story and we've all been through tough things and there's something usually a beautiful stories come out of of uh, some principle that you grab onto you know, and that's that's what can give you a transformation and when you share that uh, people like that people feel inspired and they get to know you in a really deep level and trust you so you get the know like and trust immediately couldn't agree more. It's so powerful. You know, you need to really put out there, you know, if you're in these groups, other groups, and there's tens of thousands of people, share and add value to the group by summarizing notes. So you're learning better. People see that you're adding value, they're appreciating it. And um, you could say, I'm going to be typing up summary notes. Who wants it? DM me. All of a sudden, you got all these leads, right? That's a very clever way of doing it. Um, as well as sharing videos and being, I mean, you, you've seen these... Um, uh, uh, events where people encourage you to share a video they all do that right and then if you do it in a way that follows the great grabs their attention like that visual of natalia i'll never forget that for the rest of my life you know it's like when she fell down i was like what happened right my goodness it's amazing it's really awesome so let's continue but uh whoop. <laughs> that's our old poor, poor natalia there look at her oh nice face <laughs> ah, another one out her nose sorry <laughs> i gotta close I love, I love my nose Oh, uh, there we go. So, 
really, you want to change people's state. And when you can do that, it elicits emotions and feelings and you start thinking and go, wow, let's take action. And then you get people results. So really, you're in the business of transformation. Never forget that. And with that, you really need to understand psychology, physiology, the whole nine yards. And when we're doing living in the world of COVID, post-COVID, whatever COVID, video. All right, guys? And uh, TV, don't forget, TV can be done virtual. These days, you don't have to fly to New York to be interviewed on blah, blah, blah. They'll do Zoom interviews. Just make sure you know you don't have kids running around the background and doing silly things like some of these folks do. Um, but the, that, that's the whole beauty of it, really telling your hero's journey, sharing your story. And it's not about telling your entire story. Right? Screenshot this because it's a very powerful framework that the Star Wars folks, the Steven Spielbergs of the world, George Lucas of the world modeled is this hero's journey, the way to tell your story, to rewrite your own story. Because if you don't have an amazing call to adventure, an amazing mission, amazing why, you're not going to feel pushed so that you're a little bit reluctant, the refusal, the reluctant hero, as you might have heard. And then you're more unlikely to search for mentors who like the Obi-Wan Kenobis who will teach you the force and how to fight evil, right? And you all attract partners like Han Solo, C-3PO, Chewie, you know, Chewbacca, Baka, and uh, R2-D2, etc. And then you're not going to be able to face the Darth Vaders and the pits in your journey and be able to come back the road back and share, right? That's the, that's the complete journey. And it's really, if you haven't achieved the success you would like, then it's maybe it's because of the adventure you're not really on that adventure that really lights you up that mission so i challenge you to all think of a bigger mission right bigger why so on that note you know we're roughly at the two hour mark i hope you got some value out of today's master class and we want to explain how you can also get the free gifts fair enough so um who would like that who and and is it if it's okay uh, we will tell you a bit about our Inner Circle program. We've got nothing to sell. Everything's by application. Uh, so you can put away your credit card. If you want to learn a bit more, one of the things that we identified um, with some of the problems with coaching and mentoring is that often it's like 12 weeks and then you're kind of left to your own devices or they're going to sell you in this ridiculous 50,000, 30,000, you know, really expensive coaching programs that most of us can't afford. I know because I help structure a lot of these programs and business models for the gurus because we are in the events business, we're in the um, digital marketing space, so we know the full funnel. Make sense? We created these funnels for the gurus. Uh, at T-Halves Millionaire Mind Intensive, they offer th you know three-day events, three-and-a-half-day events for nothing, for free. You can not only, at the, at the peak, we were offering not only well, this one before T Hav was was uh, his team was hiring us. But he was giving away free events for three and a half days, and you get tickets to his. You get his book for free. Uh, it's ridiculous. And then at the three and a half days, he would pitch, you know, different programs ranging from a thousand to ten thousand dollars. Every three or four hours, there would be a pitch, and they would add more value and add more value. And you, as the observer, would go, wow, these I'm being sold to, but it's really cool. I don't mind. They do it in such an engaging way. Um, so we know the whole, you know, tricks and, you know, traps of all these models, the good and the bad. Uh, but we wanted to create a what we call a lifetime coaching program, uh, a program where if you really just focus on implementation <laughs> as opposed to jumping in one course to the next, to the next, to the next. Oh, you see the gray box. All right. Sorry. Thank you. Um, then it's forever never really implementing because if you don't find the right mentor the right obi-wan who will guide you through this journey then you're going to be forever info junkie so we've created what we call the inner circle which is a lifetime coaching program i joke about it as long as i'm still alive running this business now i'm i've got gray hairs i'm almost 50 believe it or not i'm 48. Long live Kia. thank you thank you i love it <laughs> So fantastic as long as i'm in live and doing this i know some of you guys are younger will outlive me um it's what was what we quote lifetime coaching program so long as i'm alive okay and kicking and 
doing this business. But this is our legacy program. It's my third decade in business. I'm going to look at this hero's journey. This is kind of the road back. I've gone through hell and back learning about entrepreneurship, learning about media and being building a brand and you know working with the most famous people in my niche. Uh, that I've had the privilege of working with the Tony Robbins of the world, my gurus, my my mentors. And, uh, you know, now is my chance in my third decade of entrepreneurship to teach and uh, to share what I've learned. So we've created a mastermind program, which is, you know, execution, implementation, training online, live, uh, daily support, uh, live for life. All right. It's crazy. People are going crazy what we're offering. We're in pre-launch. So there's some amazing specials, etc. Ben lives literally a couple of minutes from my uh, new house. We're about to move in there a couple of weeks time. Uh, we've got two young boys. He's got two young girls. We're going to be in-laws very soon in the next 20 years or so. That's the plan. And uh, continue the legacy, right? I'm kidding. But and Natalia is part of our amazing team, right? She's If you want to learn how to do storytelling uh, at its best, you know, she's been doing... How many years? 28 years? What Did you start when you were two or something? Um, you know... Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm I'm just twenty. What is okay, it? yes, but uh, she's been doing this for literally twenty eight years. She was a child, years. yeah, yeah, a child actress, actor. So that's that's the you know we're gonna give give away her her age, but she started when she was young. Yes. Well, I um, meditate. I look younger. Yes. Uh, Doesn't she look at me? I, I don't look younger. I I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then Stephanus, the quiet rock star, is busting to play his guitar. And uh, I know, you know, this is him. This is not doctored. This is him in his rock star days with long hair. Girls would go up and ask him what type of sheen or shampoo he was using. But um, this guy is amazing. He's, he's the tech whiz behind all our all our funnels and stuff. So if you want to learn, this is what we call the dream team, right? If you want to get mentored by geniuses in their fields, storytelling, strategy, marketing, sales, technology, this is the thing you're looking for right the dream team support that um, often there's missing um, when you just join one program for 12 weeks or whatever makes sense so we've got a program that um, encompasses all the missing links that we feel a lot of programs after helping the gurus um, and and to learn how to put together funnels you know from application funnels how to do high ticket selling or not even doing it if you're using uh, the virtual model, right? We teach both. The virtual events model is super powerful as well, like we uh, did recently. And you can, from you know, charging hardly anything to even ten thousand plus, right? If you've got the right uh, systems in place, you want to master the virtual three, five, seven day event model, and master what we call the secret sauce, which is the KLT video matrix, right? How do you put together these videos? So, is this something that you can learn in six months? Is this something you can learn in six weeks? Come on. I don't know. Why? Right? So I, it's by application, and we want to find the people who are mission driven, who want to make more, but want to make an impact, right? So, you know, it's, we, we won't serve you unless we feel like this is the right thing for you, right? And how to be omnipresent like the gurus, all the retargeting, all that stuff is the advanced program stuff, but it's all included in our inner circle. Like we're starting this in February. We already started a, a like a pre-launch training um, that's happening a couple of times a week already. And uh, but February is full launch, so we got some really amazing, irresistible specials uh, that you can find out if you you know, including you know Ben's YouTube viral mastery. If you want to get trained by Ben uh, and learn how to build your you know YouTube channel. That's all included. So I tell people, don't pay fifty to hundred thousand plus, plus even a percentage of equity like we sometimes take. Um, don't need to do that. Um, we also have this, you know, what we call the inner circle mastermind. It's customized to you. Uh, you will get one-on-one -on -one access as well to Natalia and myself and Stephanus. Um, but we have. Um, something that I think, you know, it's a legacy program. It's lifetime support, literally, right? It's a scalable model. If you want to run ads, you don't have to initially. Um, you can, if you want to master video, this is the place. If you know how powerful video can be for your brand, then this is the place. It's an exclusive private community. 
and uh, high-level coaching. You know, it's what we're called done with you. You simply go to scalewithimpact.com. Um, scalewithimpact.com and apply, right? It's not for everyone. Um, you can, yeah, see some of the work that we've done and just fill out a little short application. It takes like seven questions or something like that. So as soon as you do that, we will, pro you know, it's we will, regardless, you know, all you got to do, the catch of getting access to all these amazing bonuses is schedule a call, right? I'm sure we can help you uh, if not myself or one of the uh, team members um, will help you and give you access to uh, the Go Viral Challenge for free, right? All you got to do is book a call with us to see we can give you some brainstorming. And if, if the inner circle is not for you, no problem. You can still walk away uh, with this free gift. Um, and also, you know, if you join some of our programs, we'll throw in this Be On TV boot camp. Um, but even if you don't, you know, we're strategic partners. We make a, a commission, obviously, if we promote this. So we'll rebate you. It's only like ten bucks, right? So we'll rebate you forty-five dollars. You don't, we don't want to make the profit. You know, just a little bit of admin fees. Uh, if you sign up through our affiliate link, you know, you can sign up if you want. You know, without speaking to us, which is xfactorbranding.com. Uh, Full, um, you know transparency we're an affiliate but we'll rebate you the entire you know the the commission less a little bit of a admin fee uh, so it doesn't cost you 55 us and this starts in december 10th all right but if you join one of our programs we'll throw it in as a bonus but um 55 us but you know it's 10 us dollars you simply you know if you don't want to get on a call with us and uh you know down the tr it's december 10th so you don't you can take your time think about it don't don't make any rash decisions i don't know whether they got a money back guarantee or not so I said, don't don't get excited and buy stuff that you may not need. Okay, read through this sales page. Go to uh, X Factor Branding. I don't want you to buy anything today, right? As I said before, go to X Factor Branding. Yeah. Okay. But number one, book a, have a chat with us if you want to have a chat with us, and we'll give you a whole bunch of bonuses. Uh, there we go. Oh, that won't work. Uh, can someone just type in the HTTP? Uh, make sure. Um, when I put the HTTP for the scale with impact, it doesn't work. That's why I shared the Star Producer Academy. No, that's a bit too long. Uh, the way to do it is you got to copy it before you hit return, and then voila, there you go. So you can click on that link. So schedule a, uh, a quick chat with either myself and one of my team members. But here's the thing: every week when if I, you know when we're no we have we've done this for four or five times, but. I haven't done it every week, but um, each time we do this live, I'm willing to get on a call with you one on one for the first five people who apply. Makes sense. I can't, you know, speak to every single one of you guys, but for the first five, um, and if you don't speak to me, it's because it's already gone, and you might be speaking to Natalia or Stephanus, but they're amazing as well. Um, you what know, do you mean they're amazing as well? We are incredible. You're incredible, not just amazing, all right? Give me a break. I couldn't figure out the word. Extraordinary. The, the right no, no. If you get on a call with Kian, just please get on a call with Kian. You're going to gain so much clarity with 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 your niche, with what you want to do. Oh, it's you. like, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to tell you anything in that one hour conversation. And uh, only at the end of the one hour, if you're interested in our inner circle, you ask us. Makes sense? This is how we teach how to sell. You don't sell. Because what? People hate to be sold to, right? They love to buy. Simple as that. So if we can serve you in that hour and you feel like we can be of further value, we've demonstrated a little bit about you know who we are. And on that one-on-one -on -one call, we really truly tried our best to understand how to take your brand and your story to the next level and giving you some real nuggets then you'll go, well, if you've helped me with one hour, imagine working with you guys for years or life, all right, so to speak. Um, so that's how we teach, you know, as well as students. If you really want to make an impact, figure out how long it takes to make an impact. You don't all have to offer lifetime coaching, all right? This is our legacy program. Um, for you, you might know that 12 weeks is enough to create transformation. But for us, we know it takes a little bit more than three to six months to build your brand, to create, be amazing on video. Yes or yes. We're teaching a very difficult subject 
and we are willing to work with you on all different aspects. And if this is why it's not for everyone, don't jump on the call just for the free bonus, all right? Jump on because you know it, it. It doesn't make any sense, right? If you really want to make an impact, you really have a certain charisma and certain message and certain mission to make an impact in the world, then we'd love to have a chat with you. First five, I'll speak one on one. And uh, over the next week or so, um, so that anyway, let's continue. Uh, oh, can they get the bonus? No, oh, the no, bonus no. as soon as you, you book, as soon as you book a call with us, Stephanus will send you free access to the Go Viral Challenge. We'll send you um, the Be on TV thing. That's December tenth. It's live. Um, access to that, and once again, we'll give you all the details about uh, how to get the rebate and everything. Uh, it's simple. As soon as we get the commission, we'll rebate you, you know, forty-five dollars. So it's cost you ten bucks. Makes sense. But if you join one of our programs, we'll throw it in as a as a free bonus, limited bonus. But um, uh, yeah, so that that's you know. So let me ask you, you know, are you what business are you really in, right? Are you really in the, you know, selling burgers, or are you really here to transform people's lives? <laughs> McDonald's is not a great example in this case, but what we include. The reason why I include this because in our inner circle, we give you all our systems. We give you our not only our wisdom and knowledge as much as we can um, every day, you know, live um, inside the Facebook group or live in these coaching program, uh, online coaching, uh, Zoom calls, private. But we also share our systems because systems are everything. Literally, step by step, uh, even our templates, like if you want to look at these Canva templates, aren't they amazing? Our team, Feb and Carl, put lots of hours into make producing beautiful hundreds of different slides, thousands even, uh, and we'll give you the systems and we'll give you all our website templates, our funnel templates, our uh, virtual event templates that have generated hundreds of thousands of dollars, et cetera, et cetera. Make sense? So we give you our video templates. We, we want to, and our contracts, our sales contracts, all the things that we can possibly think of that you can model. So it's like a franchise without being a franchise. Make sense? You're not in the business selling burgers as juicy as this one is. Um, I'm part vegetarian, so excuse uh, those who are fully vegetarian. I'm literally part time, part -time vegetarian. Yeah, sometimes I go vegetarian. What's wrong with that? I, I recommend it to everyone. You know, at times I go full vegetarian for like a day or two, <laughs> a week, or even months, even. Anyway, another story. But um, McDonald's is really in the business of selling franchises and building real estate. So if you really want to, you know, create legacy technology then join us on this journey as you can leverage and modify our technologies get good at video leverage our systems and then deploy so you can not only teach but find partners who license your technology down the track because we have a partnership program is power proximity, proximity is power. power yeah strategic partnership it's really the key to success and ability to scale you know, I partner with Ben and Natalia. So the key for you is how do you get these partnerships? How do you track amazing partners, right? So free gift. Here's the free gift that doesn't require you to do anything. Uh, high impact script, tiny. Here you go. So uh, I need to the www. So this won't require you to book anything. We promised some freebies. Um, there you go. All right, so feel free to book a call with us, get some freebies regardless. Um, am I still sharing my screen? I think I am. No, you're not sharing your screen. Oh, okay, cool. So, so you can get that free. Um, so this here, you can see how we put together our, uh, uh, some of our top videos that generated, you know, ridiculous amounts of ROI, if, considering how much we spent, a few thousand dollars. And, um, yeah, go viral. Look, guys, there's an incredible opportunity and it's amazing. Um, I think 95% of you guys have stayed on to the end of this. So you know that there's something amazing about video, about being on TV. Um, I can't stress the importance of building your brand today. This is a once in a lifetime, as they say, happening in the COVID, right? It's forced everyone to go online and uh, 
you know, those who spend this time before we go back to some form of normality, you know, and, and we don't know what type of normality, maybe the world is going a bit crazy and they're trying to control, you know, everyone as we become more and more empowered and the people in power are a bit scared of the truth coming out, whatever that is. But here's a chance to really build your brand, right? A lot of people are putting together the New Year's resolutions in place now. For next year, there's a real opportunity to build your brand so that in the next decade, you can be here to make a true impact and to make a difference in the world. Because you're obviously here to make a difference and you're here because you've got something, you know, that you can share with the world. And there's nothing more amazing than video technology to get it out there in today's social media world. All right, guys, on that note, um, we're going to just wrap it up. You know, unless you've got any quick questions, we'll stay for an extra 10, you know, this two hours is up. Happy to, you know, those of you got to run. Uh, thank you, Amala. Any quick questions? If you, We'll stay on for another five or 10 minutes as long as you want us to stay within reason. I got a, a 11 o'clock. So, uh, you know, if you've got some questions, if not, we will say sayonara. Say zaijian and uh, until... Oh, yes, a free call with the first five people and then obviously um, those who... Uh, Sorry, uh, Kian. Uh, I always write Kian and it's correct since... And Dean. It, it, no, it, I'm, I'm not James Dean. I'm, I'm Kian. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. Free call with Kian. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And um, thank you so much, uh, Ghislaine. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but Martin. Thank you, thank you. I hope you guys, you know, as I said, got some inspiration, got some nuggets. Um, you know, regardless, go out there and really think about your story and your mission. Start with why, yeah? And and the rest will come. And you'll find the right mentors that you resonate with and go on your journey, okay? Thank you, thank you. Any any other final comments? Stephanus, anything you want to share? We've, we've kept Steph in the dark here in purple, uh, glowing. Steph. Is very active inside our groups. You'll see a lot of his videos. Any words of wisdom from Stephanus? Well, now, now we have the opportunity to share our message using social media. Can you hear me? Hmm. Yeah, loud and clear. Sounding good. Yeah, loud and clear. Go ahead. You shared yeah. something about what Gary V did Gary so v. well recently, that video that everyone loved. What were some of the nuggets there? Yeah, Gary V. Well, he has a message that he, he really believes in, and he uses social media to spread it. And that's why people love him, because he really cares about helping people. He feels like he has something that can benefit people. And he's using the tools that we have, social media and the internet, to connect with people. So now it's much easier if you have some kind of message, if you want to tell your story, and if you want to help people. You have to use what's available. It's, it's a massive opportunity. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, don't see the opportunity like slipping away. Now there are more people uh, coming online. So if you get early, if you get online early and t tell your stories, still early. your this audience, still early. yeah, d d don't wait. Don't wait because more and more people are realizing the power of social media. They try to find their own niche and build their own audience. But if you get early, you, you have so much more opportunity to uh, have impact. So the friend is your, 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 the trend is your friend, as they say. So, and with Gary, he gives everything away, right? He doesn't charge to, you know, attend his seminars. Uh, that's not his business model, right? He, he gives away, you know, his stuff for free. So he goes viral. The big companies pick it up and they hire his companies to do done for you work. And then companies like Success Resources uh, go and hire him and pay him 50, 100,000 plus to speak for an hour. Right. That's his business. And, uh, and I'm sure if, I'm not sure if you remember like two years ago, right, with Gary Vee in London, he was like infuriated with people saying that you have to do Facebook ads right now. <laughs> before like the big brands get on on facebook and put like the millions of dollars then it's going to be very very expensive for you to advertise on social media and we see what happened like maybe like six years ago it's so much easier to to have your content 
shared and mm -hmm. shown to more people uh, organically without paying anything. But after a few years, like maybe since like 2017 or 18, mm -hmm. basically your organic content is, is much more difficult to reach people. Yeah. I mean, Facebook, YouTube, you have to pay. We not only teach you how to build your channel, but also how to run YouTube ads in the inner circle. So YouTube ads are the, one of the hottest things at the moment because Facebook ads are getting a lot more expensive. You know, most of Facebook ads are images, right? 80, 90% are only small percentage of video. That's the opportunity, guys. You know, YouTube ads is all by definition video ads. These are the pre-roll before you watch the how-to video and it's targeted. Facebook ads are interruptive. Like you're like just scrolling and all of a sudden an ad pops up, right? Sponsored, but with YouTube, Persons, you know, specifically looking for a particular topic and you can place your ad and hijack the traffic of your competitors or the gurus and put your ad in the beginning before they watch your the, the, the video they want to watch. Isn't that amazing? And if they don't watch more than 30 seconds, you don't get charged, right? It's like there's all these cool things that people aren't even aware of. You can build your brand through YouTube ads, you know, for free. And only those who watch more than a certain percentage, you'll get charged, like seconds, 30 seconds. Isn't that insane? So all these little things we haven't even gone into. But as I said, start with getting clear on your story, your niche, your micro niche, who you really want to serve. You don't have to compete with the big boys, as we say. Focus on a sub, 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 sub niche, and then offer them transformational coaching and mentoring. Because people are inundated with information. They need guidance. They need true wisdom and insights. And you can do that, offer that through the power of Zoom calls, right? You don't have to be physically in front of them. And do it in a group setting because what what benefits one person, right? When you're giving them feedback, benefits others as well as they're listening in. All right, we've used this model um, to build six, seven figure launches for so many of our clients. On that note, um, thank you, thank you. Hope to have a chat with you guys one on one or one of our team members and uh, hope to see you in one of the boot camps that's coming up uh be on tv next uh next week um you know send us an email if you uh if if you want to make sure you get that rebate Does, what's our email just book a call or whatever and then just you know or just put our email there if you didn't quite catch uh, otherwise if you go to their website you have to pay full price 55 bucks you didn't write your email there on the chat oh. Okay, so support star producer. Yeah, something like that. You can email us if you've got any questions. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Take care, Steph, Natalia, Feb. And on that note, make an impact. <laughs>